I got a booty this time. For a little bit. All right, we're back for another episode. Uh, just go. Of Just Go Family. We have to also apologize for our kid here. <laughs> Let me zoom in here. If you look at his upper lip, he wants to touch the camera, but he, he bonked his lip today. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Get down there. Hey, don't touch the camera. Don't touch the camera. <laughs> and where did we go on this adventure? Do you know? We go to. Um, <laughs> what it was called? called Wainuchi Waterfall. It's a hard one. Wainuchi. It's spelled just like it sounds. Wainuchi and what else? It's another hard one. Rialto. Can you say Rialto? Rialto Beach. Hey buddy, you want to say Rialto? And when I was going to the beach, I was going Yeah, you can see her going up and down in the background of uh, some of our footage of getting to the waterfall. They had yes. these like little bumps for kids. It was like a trail made for kids. I think they literally made it that way. So we are on a unexpected adventure. Yesterday I dropped my phone and broke it. And so all this morning we had to go into the city. Well, not the city, but like a bigger town to get it fixed at Best Buy. And uh, so we decided to do something on that side of um, the world and now we are going to a waterfall and we can hear it in the distance So we're excited to take a look at it. Apparently you can go wading in it and um, Maybe even a little bit of swimming. So we'll get to see if we do that Bye bye Okay, you want to jump to me? Okay, here we go. say that you know out of all the waterfalls I've seen I think it's my favorite because I've seen a lot of epic wa waterfalls but you can't 
Kristen and I have a thing about interacting with your environment. If like, there's a lot of waterfalls out there, but you can't really. The waterfall is either too powerful, um, or you can't get to it. It's honestly been a kind of a dream of mine to be at a waterfall like that, where you can just jump off a cliff. Which there was higher cliffs that I could have jumped off of, but because I couldn't really see what was under the water, we brought or we wanted to bring goggles, but uh, we didn't. We didn't have them. So rainy. Did you do something really brave at Wainuchi Falls? Yeah. What did you do? I jumped into the cold water. Yeah. Really? You were so brave. Was it yeah. cold? Yeah, but, but we just swam back to him and then... Wait, wait, say that again. You did what? You swam? By the um, yeah. lake, but... Um, you say, so you jam jumped in on one side and you swam to the other side? Yeah, but um, I got a toy. Yeah, because she was so brave and getting into really cold water. I mean, it was it was really cold. I it was felt pretty like it was chilly. Really she she earned a toy. Hold up, we're gonna let this kid go somewhere else because you're just being crazy. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to film Bodhi again. Yeah. Because he's just so stinking cute over there by himself. There he is. Oh man. Zoom on in. Hopefully he doesn't pick up any goose poop. There's definitely a lot of goose poop. He's so cute in the field with all the stuff behind him. But he's so pretty. Okay, anyway. It's been a tough week for him. He got a he had his brain sucked out by a mosquito. Literally. Yeah. Uh, that was like... <laughs> and then uh, bust his lip and then he also got bit by a spider this week. Oh yeah. I thought yeah, I needed honestly. to rush him to the ER. Not the ER, the emergent care. It looks like it was a emergent yellow care. yellow sack spider that yes. bit him. I um, almost took him to the urgent care, not the emergent care. That's yes. different. You talk about being brave. I like that I jumped in. It was kind of like four to feet, but it was like deep, deep. And it was really, it was like the temperature was like um, cold, cold, warm, cold, warm. Okay, so where did we go after Rialto? No, sorry. Oh, you, you gave it away. No, we already said it earlier. That's true. Where did we go? So where did we go after Wainuchi Falls? I don't know. <laughs> we just said it. <laughs> we went to the beach, right? Yes. Yes. Was it a cool beach? Yep. What was but unique about the beach? Was there was there really big rocks? Yeah. Like, like, well, we couldn't walk on the beach because the tide was coming in and there was no beach to really walk on. But, but, the, but the funny part was Daddy needed to carry me like the whole day. Yeah. yeah. Pretty there much was, the whole day. There was a lot of carrying. Well, going until on. we got to our destination, I pretty much had to carry her the majority yeah. of the trip. Yeah, because there was rocks. Yeah, it was a little dangerous. about Rialto Beach, but we actually didn't go to Rialto Beach. We thought we went to Rialto, Rialto Beach. Yep, someone on Instagram's so, like, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we, we pulled into the parking lot, and then I went to go up the hill to see the view, and I noticed to my left was gorgeous. Super it was just awesome. Yeah. The, just all these boulders and rocks coming out of the water, um, and so we decided to go left, but apparently somebody on Instagram told me that uh, we went to the wrong location, and Rialto Beach is actually to the right, and, um... Mom, look behind you! <laughs> oh man, we got another plane about to take off. They're so cool. Which is not going to be noisy at all. They're, they're in water. So we got to hustle, we got to hustle. I'll, I'll show footage of the plane taking off, though, I promise. 
So yeah, you go right and it's around a bend and that's the reason why we didn't see it. You had to go around the bend to see Rialto Beach. But the beach that we were on was amazing. Super cool. And we just thought it was we one of the prettiest. <laughs> to, for me, it was one of the prettiest beaches I've ever seen. And very, very rugged though, extremely rugged. And we saw so many cool things there as far as like sea creatures are concerned. We saw a lot of starfish. Starfish and, and sea urchins. And the best part, there were very few other people. <laughs> yeah, there was no one over there because it was the wrong beach. <laughs> I was wondering about that, by the way. We just loved running around on the beach. Yes, did a lot of chasing. And exploring and sea creatures. It was just a really cool day. play a game where I'm Ursula, Rainy is Ariel, Bodhi is Flounder, and being the mean sea witch that I am, I'm going to steal Flounder. That's what you do when you're out here in this beautiful landscape. It's just so cool. Joel went around that corner somewhere, and he'll be back, hopefully. <laughs> think we're a bit crazy for doing all of this and for even asking rain to jump into freezing cold water but she did it she chose to we did not force her and um, it's just something that I'm, we do I'm brave you are brave and okay. it's some okay friggin planes here we go I told you I'd film it There you go. 
we have a rule in our family that um, we, we believe it's important to teach our kids to be brave. Yes. Because in our world today, we don't, we don't have opportunities to be brave because we're so comfortable. Yeah. You have to actually choose to put yourself in uncomfortable situations and choose courage so that you can teach yourself that it works out. That, and it's okay. <laughs> and Bodhi's learning all those things too. And Bodhi, and Bodhi needs a nap. <laughs> Yeah. You need a nap, don't you? Are you tired? You? Is it time for night night? He is losing his mind. So, Rainy, do you want to do the honor Here, and say bye? I'll take bye? him away. You guys say bye, okay? Hold up. Say bye bye, Bodhi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do us the honor and say bye bye. Bye bye. Go.